உதய் சார் வணக்கம் மீனா சுந்தரம் சார் நம்ம ஒரு அறுபது வருஷம் இந்தி எதிர்ப்பிலே வளர்ந்த மாநிலம் அப்புறம் வந்து இந்தி தெரியாது போடாதுன்னு சட்டை போடுவோம் பானிபூரிக்காரங்களாம் ரொம்ப திண்டல் பண்ணுவோம் இந்த படத்தில் பானிபூரி தான் மெயின் ட்ரெய்லர்லேயே வருது அதுவும் ரெட் ஜெயினில் முதல்ல ஒரு இந்தி படம் ரிலீஸ் பண்ணுவீங்க நிறைய விமர்சனங்கள் வரும் அதை எப்படி பார்க்க போகிறீங்க நீங்கள் எப்படி இந்த படத்தை ரிலீஸ் பண்ண சமைச்சிங்க இல்லை எப்பவுமே ஹிந்தி தெரியாது போடுவாங்க இந்த ஹிந்தி திணிப்புக்கு தான் எதிர்த்துருக்கோமே தவிர ஒரு மொழி கற்றுக்கூடாது அப்படின்னு நம்ம சொன்னதே கிடையாது உங்களுக்கு வேணும்னா நீங்கள் கற்றுக்கலாம் ஆனால் யாரோ வந்து நீங்கள் கற்றுக்கிட்டு தான் ஆகணும்னு சொன்னால் அதுதான் எதிர் எதிர்க்கிறது தான் நம்முடைய திமுகவோட கொள்கை ஃபஸ்ட்டு ஹிந்தி படம் இதுக்கு முன்னாடி தெலுங்கு படங்கள் ரெட் ஜெயண்டில் பண்ணியிருக்கோம் நான் அவ மொழி தவிர அவருடைய நடிப்புக்கு ஒரு பெரிய ரசிகன் நான் இருந்திருக்கிறேன் எப்பவுமே அவருடைய படங்கள் எனக்கு நிறையா பிடிக்கும் எல்லா படங்களும் பார்த்துருக்குறேன் இந்த படம் அவர் சார் வந்து இங்கே சொன்ன மாதிரி தான் இங்கிலீஷ் படம் ஃபாரஸ்ட் கேம்பில் வந்து யுஎஸோட ஹிஸ்ட்ரி பின்னாடி நிறையா ட்ராவல் ஆகிட்டே இருக்கும் இந்த படத்துலேயும் இந்தியன் ஹிஸ்ட்ரி நிறைய இருக்குது படத்தில் அதில் சில கான்வர்சேஷன்ஸ் கூட நடந்துச்சு எங்களுக்கு எனக்கும் அமெரிக்கான் சாருக்கும் சார் இது இங்கே செட் ஆகுமா சார் அந்த மாதிரிலாம் அப்புறம் அவர் என்ன வந்து கன்வின்ஸ் பண்ணியிருக்காரு சில இடங்களில் நான் சொன்ன பாயிண்ட்ஸும் அவர் நோட் பண்ணி அதுக்கு சின்ன சின்ன சேஞ்சஸ்லாம் பண்ணியிருக்காங்க ஒரு நல்ல படத்தை பண்ணோம் அப்படிங்கிறது தான் நான் அன்னைக்கு படம் பார்த்துட்டு நான் சார்ட்ட இல்லை சார் நான் பண்ணலன்னு கூட நான் சொல்லியிருக்கலாம் ஆனால் நான் பா பார்த்துட்டு அடுத்த நாளே ஃபோன் பண்ணி சார் கன்ஃபார்மாக நாங்கள் தமிழ் வருஷன் வந்து ரெண்டில் பண்ணுறோம் அப்படின்னு தான் சொன்னேன் ஒரு ஃபேன் பாய் மூமெண்ட் அப்படி கூட நீங்கள் எடுத்துக்கலாம் அதுக்கு வாய்ப்பு கொடுத்ததுக்கு ஐ வுட் லவ் டு தேங்க் அமீர்கான் சார் டைரக்டர் அந்த ஹோல் டீம் நோ Thank you so much, sir. That's Hindi part of our channel. We'll see Tamil or we'll see the subtitle of Tamil. Yeah, uh, can we have the first question? Uh, good evening, uh, Amar, Amar Ji and the dignitaries on stage. Uh, welcome to Chennai. Um, we're as excited as you are about the film. Uh, but could you throw a little more light on, you know, what prompted you to actually make a remake of a classic like uh, Forrest Gump in the first place and how, about in adaptation as well? Sure. Uh, they say that, you know, it took 10 years for you for the adaptation to... you know take shape and then you know you also uh, had uh, you had to wait for quite a bit of time to get the permission right well uh, let me tell you how it happened can we have the house lights on so i can see your faces also a little bit, little uh, bit. can we house have light. all the lights on please uh, audience I'll side continue. order lights so ninga konjam on pannikena nalla irukku i'll tell you while they put the lights on so uh, around 14 years ago uh, atul who's not here today he he is the writer of the adaptation he and i were talking at night and uh, he said what is your favorite film so i said forest gump is one of them and i ma- named a few more also but somehow we started talking about this film and then the night got over <clears throat> we went home i mean i i was at home he went to his house i forgot about it two weeks later he called me up and said i have written a screenplay for you so i said but you don't write <laughs> he's never written a screenplay so he said yeah but i've tried to write and i've written it So I said in 2 weeks he said yes 2 weeks I said what have you written he said I have written an adaptation of Forrest Gump so first I started laughing <laughs> because it's such a classic you don't want to attempt that also plus he's done it in only 2 weeks and this is the first script he's written so I didn't take it very seriously and I didn't uh, you know uh, that was my actually folly that I didn't take it seriously because I didn't hear the script until 2 years and 2 years later when I heard the script So to answer your question what made me do it is atul's adaptation the day i heard the narration of atul kulkarni uh, advait also was there he was my manager in fact it's been so long 14 years ago that that time he was my manager and he and i were here that day we were listening to it for the first time and i just fell in love with it i found it so beautifully done and i couldn't believe that a film like forest gump which is so deeply rooted in american culture how can that be made in any other culture whether indian or any other i could not understand but atul showed me how <laughs> so when he did it i just just fell in love with it and i said you know we must make this film and then the journey began of trying to get the rights so it took us out of the 14 years around 8 uh, two years i took to hear the story <laughs> not two years i think one and a half year or something but anyway i took a long time and then it took us around 8 years to get the rights and then finally we started work on the film so this is how it has happened in my wildest dreams i would have not imagined that we can do a adaptation of forest gump but because that thing came in front of me in a written form that is what excited me i think it is atul kulkarni's adaptation really that pulled me towards making this yeah yeah sir nagarjitanya sir sir 
நீங்க உங்க தாத்தா கூட நடிச்சிருக்கீங்க நாகேஸ்வரா அப்புறம் அப்பா கூட நாகார்ஜுனா கூட நடிச்சிருக்கீங்க இப்ப அமீர்கான் சார் கூட நடிச்சிருக்கீங்க என்ன வந்து வித்தியாசம் இல்ல வந்து அவங்க கிட்ட இருந்து என்ன கத்துக்கிட்டீங்க ஐ திங்க் ஆமிர் சார் வந்து இட்ஸ் மெயின்லி இஸ் ப்ராசஸ் more than the shooting of the film uh, the amount of time he gives for rehearsals or the pre production and shooting kapra editing ku and uh, the post production process ku uh, the amount of time he gives it uh, this kind of patience and determination uh, i have not seen uh, in any actor till now and uh, as an actor that's what i have learnt maximum from amir sir and also uh, he he sort of uh, gives importance to every aspect of the film not only his role but uh, every department every actor because i think amir sir believes that only if everything shines uh, that's part of the film only then will the film shine on a totality so yeah this is what i learned thank you so much and one last question to anupam mother thank you shall yeah sorry yeah this is shalini shalini sorry hello mr amir khan actually uh, what's your point of view on pan india label actually you have started it 20 years before so now it's called pan india <laughs> well actually first i just want to request i think they've been waiting for so long we should have a few more questions yes we do sir uh, we just But, have one more show which is going to be screened oh, already here we're already sorry, 10 minutes late by film. the audience are waiting out i'm so outside. sorry i'm so sorry <laughs> then i suppose we will quickly finish yeah, yeah. yes your question was what uh what's your point of view on pan india label so you have started ah. 20 years before this trend no you see i feel that india is a country which has got such beauty and diversity different cultures different languages we have great uh, icons from different different languages and i think that is really wonderful if any language whether it's hindi tamil telugu if the rest of the country can be entertained by any creative people of one language then that's a wonderful thing and i think that should happen more and more i would like to see films from different regions of the country and i would like to enjoy them and 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 i think that's really what will that that will be really beautiful that we enjoy films from across the country in different languages uh yeah thank you so much yeah, and once again and i sincerely uh, I apologize one, one more one question for anupama the last one hi ami ji uh, yes. this is anupama from deccan chronicle hi anupama welcome to chennai thank you Uh, you are one star who goes to any extent uh, you know uh, to transform into the character what was the challenges in this because you have different uh, stages of life yes in in this my main challenge was to get into the mind of the character lal singh chadda his most striking quality is his purity and his innocence uh, and that was something that was very important for this part and i am in my 50s but in the film i'm also you know playing 18 20 22 etc different ages that was my biggest challenge having experienced life having so many memories carrying so much baggage i now needed to unlearn everything i had picked up let go of all my thoughts so that i appear child like innocent as lal is supposed to be and that was my biggest challenge i think yes amir sir last question okay uh, comparing to the uh, english version the cast the punjabi costume all this been in hindi version but in the english there is no cast or any religion related why is this though so? oh, you know i think that um, uh, atul who did the adaptation i think he's done a wonderful job of taking something which is from a different culture a different geography and has when he's transformed it he has made many changes some things he have kept similar some things he has altered when you see the film you will i think see how he has done it so uh, i would like you to see the film and experience that i don't want to explain that <laughs> thank you so much thank you so much thanks a lot thank thanks a lot thank and uh, we done it